Joao Felix is one of the most exciting and promising young players in the world of football. At just 23 years old, he has already made a name for himself at the highest levels of the sport, playing for top clubs like Atletico de Madrid and Benfica, and representing his country, Portugal, at the international level at the World Cup just recently. With his skill and potential, it is clear that Joao has the ability to become one of the top players in the world and lead any team to success. Even with all that potential put in place at this moment in time, Atletico de Madrid have announced publicly that they're willing to sell their star if they are given a reasonable price for him. We all knew that his relationship with Diego Simeone wasn't the best, but for them to announce it publicly, that is on a completely different level of savagery. I suppose they took Joao's discontent with the manager as well as a fit on the team and determined it will be best to depart ways as soon as possible. Now that he is on his way out and has already committed to Chelsea at the moment, it will be best to analyze how he would fit at Chelsea. With his talent and potential, there's no doubt that Joao Felix wouldn't be a good fit at Chelsea. He has the ability to make a significant impact for any team that is fortunate enough to have him on their roster and he still looks bright after a few years at Atletico de Madrid. Today I will analyze Joao Felix's fit at Chelsea and where he can be utilized in the attack. Let's get right into it. So the question is, how would Joao Felix fit at Chelsea? First, let's take a look at Chelsea's history of signing young and talented players. Chelsea has a proven track record of developing young players and turning them into world-class performers. From players like Michael Ballack, Andrzej Szczynko, to more recent ones like Eden Hazard and Christian Pulisic. With Felix's young age of 23, he fits the mold perfectly as a player with a huge potential and Chelsea would be the perfect club to help him reach that level. At the moment, Chelsea have been using a player that is not a well-known striker by the name of Kai Havertz. At Bayer Leverkusen, Kai Havertz was used as an attacking midfielder, so this drastic change in position isn't suiting him well at Chelsea at the moment. Havertz is not the most traditional striker. He is known for his technical ability and creativity on the ball, which is more commonly associated with midfielders. As a result, he may be more effective when played in a deeper position, where he has more space to exploit his attacking skills and create scoring chances for his teammates. On the other hand, the only other quality striker left in the squad that Chelsea have is Aubameyang, but we all know that he is well past his prime. He isn't the same striker he once was when he was in Arsenal. So for that reason, Chelsea was desperately in need of Joao Felix. In terms on his on-field role, Felix is a versatile forward who can play as a central striker, a left winger, or a right winger. This kind of flexibility will be a valuable asset for Chelsea as they have several options in the attack and will be able to use Felix in various ways depending on the situation. He is a highly skilled player with great dribbling, passing and shooting ability that can be put to use in many ways. One of the main concerns with Felix's is that he has struggled to maintain consistency throughout the season with Atletico de Madrid, but that could change at Chelsea. Chelsea's youth academy is renowned for developing young players and Felix's addition to the club will also benefit the academy. With his young age, he can become a role model and inspiration to the young players in the academy, providing them with hope that with hard work and dedication, they too can one day become top level players. Chelsea could be a good fit for Joao because he would be the only option on the field, which essentially means he would be starting in that spot and wouldn't be competing with no other player at Chelsea as the striker position is his most natural position. Having Havertz and Aubameyang will allow Chelsea to have other options at the striker position if they wanted to make a complete shift in tactics. As a result, he could be a key part of Chelsea's attack for the years to come and the team could invest in his development as a player. He could be the solution that they were desperately looking for. He would be the perfect player to lead the line for her Chelsea and would give them a new dimension in attack. When it comes to the financial aspect, some may argue that 126 million euros is a lot of money for a player. But with Joao Felix, Chelsea would be getting a great return on their investment with the loan they just got from him. He would be worth every penny and more. He has the potential to become one of the best players in the world and he can help Chelsea win multiple trophies in the future. Joao's next destination will impact his career for the rest of his life. It seems like he found a team where he can express himself on the field and he has the support of his teammates and coaches. Chelsea plays an attacking style of football and has a positive and supportive culture that could be perfect for him. With the campaign they have had this season, Chelsea needs players of its caliber if they want to compete in the league. This signing makes Chelsea more attractive for other players to come in and join them. I think this is the perfect fit for them. So yeah, that is my take on the matter. If you guys liked the video, please give a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.